Welcome to another King's Crusher ICC Blitz banter. It's 9 p.m. UK time. Okay, let's start. Trent David is key as usual. Okay, 3 2, so it's a two second increment. Hope uh, stream's okay. All right, hi guys on stream. I'll say hi all <laughs> if I can type. <clears throat> I'm waiting for castling, yes. Hack attack time. This is a Nakamura line, which has given me very Check. entertaining games indeed, usually. Wondering how it'll work out here. I'm a bit concerned actually. <laughs> although, although, uh, yeah, I know it's a night sack, but I, I have seen it before. Honest, <laughs> it's it's Nakamura. He he unleashed it against the GM in uh, I think Foxwoods Open when he was a kid. Um, and one. <clears throat> but I'm um, wondering, is it Knight G5 or Bishop C4? Bishop C4. Or knight g5 should really know this uh maybe knight g5 first that gives the idea i'm wondering about <laughs> yeah i should know this if it's bishop c4 or knight g5 i'm 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 a bit, bit concerned actually um okay <clears throat> the queen is ready to go to h5 though if i played bishop c4 i think they might be both dangerous both knight g5 and, and bishop c4 <laughs> so uh yeah okay well i was hoping they're both dangerous can i do this just to stop these discovered check ideas now i've got bishop c4 and i've got queen h5 and he's ignoring both Okay, I've got Queen H5 now. Should I be worried? If I play the check or Knight takes F7, there's Queen E5 on the cards. I'll play the check, check for a moment. My knight's hanging, actually. This one will stop the knight hanging, which might be a good safety point. Really, I want to protect the bishop so I can play knight h7. So either, well, not either, queen d5, queen h5 will do that. Queen d8 is not working, right? Rook h7, knight f7. Oh, queen h5. If knight takes her mate, queen h5. So I'm threatening mate, knight h7. Fortunately, the queen is also protecting the bishop. Um... g4 bishop g4 knight h7 knight g4 queen g4 no 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 knight g4 let's stick this rook in the attack will just castle if i just castle okay, i want to see this f file i don't know how dangerous the f file is i've connected the rooks hello hello uh -huh. Check. The queen here. I think there's ninety six to win the queen. Queen f six. 
dangerous though. Bishop e5. <clears throat> if I play bishop c4, are we threatening mate again? With queen f7. Right. Uh huh. And let's not spend too much time. Right. If I do this for bishop, bishop moves. <clears throat> Wonder if I can play knight takes. Check. I'm putting Queen G eight now. <clears throat> Ooh. Okay, tense one. Thanks for the game, Trent David. Uh, let's play Charlie Columbia. Hello, Charlie Columbia. Uh, oh, wait, are we going to have another PS? <laughs> Don't tell me we're going to have this line again. <laughs> no, <laughs> we're really going to have this line again. I was a bit frightened, actually, if I played it wrong. If it was knight g5 or bishop c4, I should really look up the Nakamura game uh, once in a while because that line is like hyper aggressive. This is slightly different now. I'm hoping he'll strengthen my center. I can still go for an H-pawn attack. This is a 5-0 without increment, by the way. I could support the center here and advance the bishop. G4. Actually, actually, I'm not entirely sure. I have to protect here. Bishop g4, forget the h pawn for a moment. Why don't I just castle? Just castle. If he wants to give me a center, I'll be happy. Oh, he's giving me f7. I'll treble on f7. So my sense is collapsing here, is it? Rook f7, bishop e6. f8 takes queen f2. Okay. Sense is under fire. Can I play this? I wonder if he's going to play bishop h6, maybe. Alright, need to think about this. Centers under fire. Queen f2. Give up c3. Hmm. Not this one. No, I lose d4. End up losing d4 in these lines. Do I? I need to protect my queen or something. What about queen d3 just to hold uh, against the taking mechanism? That's not entirely fun, I must admit, that I'm nanning c3 here in the center. In fact, rook d8 seems. Yes, rook d8 it seems logical. An embarrassing. Um, oh, that was Bishop G5. Hold on a sec. Well, there's Knight E5. I'm getting done over, aren't I? There's Knight E5. Oh, blimey. This is becoming a mess rapidly. That was terrible. 
leaving the queen on the d file but I didn't I didn't it didn't seem that easy yeah <clears throat> it's collapsing in fact CD's on the bishop Trying to get more pressure on f7 and blunt this queen hitting the bishop here with cd. Maybe that's the best thing to do. I've still got some coordinated pieces, it's not ideal. It's got c4. c4 hits both bishops. This could be a goner actually. I think C4 is pretty strong. Oh. I thought C4 was winning. <laughs> That's not good, is it? If I think C4 is winning, it's not obviously not a good position. But what is this about? What is this counter exchange sack about? Hmm. Yeah, I thought C4 was pretty crushing that. Maybe quick quick check on that after. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. I can only apologize on stream. Oh, bunny. I, I, I don't know. I was getting annihilated. I'm pretty sure C4 was just winning outright. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. C4 was just winning outright. I'm just going to check that after. All right, it's not over yet, of course, but it's better than it was. Let's give the king h2 on the check. In fact, the check in queen e1 check. is still pretty dangerous. Check. Oh, this is still pretty dangerous. Huh. Do I get a pawn back with this? Try to nab c5 if I can. Oh, I'm hitting the bishop actually. Uh, let's check, unfortunately. I can't pin that because they check. Get out of Bishop H four as well. Well, that's decisive. I feel totally let off from earlier. I must admit. Um, but still. Nothing to write home about here. As they say. Sometimes. Uh -oh. Is there this I know I can pin the bush up. Hmm, this isn't easy at all. Check. <clears throat> oh, I've just blundered a piece. Oh dear. Ah, oh, oh, what am I doing? Just blundered a piece there. Check. I just blundered his rook back. This is this is not an accurate game, is it? <laughs> Oh dear, it's not an accurate game. Uh, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, I, I'm sure I was getting done over. We'll have a look at that C4 soon. Just a quick post bottom, tiny. Let me do a quick post bottom, just just for a moment. 
I think I've just been crushed. Uh, just around here. It looked all to it already. Oops. This is getting. Oh, hang on. She's on bishop h6. And if here. Queen g5. What's the idea of this? Oh, just the mate like that. Forget about the sensor collapsing. Yes, easy. But this is just better for black. Obviously, the exchange up. I think this is flawed. C4 is minus six to the engine. It's actually minus six. This is the move. I think that would have been it because my bishops are skewed. That's, that's what I was wondering about. These bishops are just totally gone. That, that was a total let off. Okay. Yeah, he could have just annihilated me with C4. All right. Anyway, Ultimate Beast. Thank you, Charlie. Yeah, let me off. Ultra Beast, not Ultimate Beast. <clears throat> I think I should have gone for his king, let the center collapse. There's a little moral of that little story. Uh, I was, yeah, concerned about the center and didn't, didn't get any king attack. Center's going to collapse, it's going to collapse, yeah. That's the way it is, but you might as well try and go for the king after uh, while it's collapsing. Find a mitigating circumstance for justifying the play there. Uh -huh. uh, do I want to play that? Maybe I want to play knight takes. In theory, I like this. Well, I like it. If I can get the rook away from the F file, so F5 isn't so effective. I'm wondering, might be free, C4. There's always Bishop E3. Bishop b7 and d4. Um, I think d4 immediately is not to be uh, advised there when the knight was on c3. The knight would have gone to e4. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so bishop e7, h5, that sort of thing. Or d4 bishop b7 yeah still still kind of thinking i should um oh oh look at those light square weaknesses yes time to go back or d4 mm, which one or even h4 h4 aha establish a form pawn a form pawn now i'll go on to this diagonal Now I think Queen C6 is not yet dangerous because there's Rook F1, but I think it's potentially dangerous uh, here. <laughs> Maybe I'll put a knight into E3, knight D5 to E3. I'm on F. No, I'm not on F4. But the knight can come into e3. Or c3. If I support the d-pawn, then I've got uh, c4 and bishop c5 on the cards, potentially. So c4, uh, not bishop c5, actually, the knight's holding c5 hmm, bishop h4 is a resource here 
which might be handy because knight takes there's queen h1 queen moves I can take oh I'm gonna play that Ooh. queen h1 Ooh. just in time and take here f freeze weak knight takes queen h1 why is it f3 drops well check. check yeah that's mate there thank you <laughs> ultra beast okay <laughs> i'm a bit ple more pleased with that game than uh than uh, game two in this session uh, i just want to say that <laughs> for the record <laughs> okay any other challenges otherwise i'll play an auto pairing Oh, girls, I'm being thrown into the, the auto pairing horror. The horror of the auto pairing. There's no immediate challenge. Okay, I'll do a five minute auto pairing. <laughs> I was shot down recently on the auto pairing. I had this morning, I think I told you last week actually, I still haven't done another batch of videos, but I had this morning I was shot down by a group of IMs and GMs. It was just relentless on the auto pairing my rating crashed below 2300 shot down from the skies was went up to 2300 was shot down that's the way it goes sometimes i might need an ultra solid opening repertoire or something against the gms in particular something which doesn't ah, collapse too easily All right, I am addicted to the H pawn actually. Like some gems, like Simon Williams, apparently he likes his Harry the H pawn. I'm addicted to this stuff, especially when there isn't a defender here. I think it's just too tempting. Doesn't often work against GMs, as I've noticed recently, but yeah, this might be fun here. Okay, we've got the double pawns to play with. Am I worried? I'm all right. Still push Harry. Harry's coming to H6. Where's he going to stop? He just stops it. Okay. He just stops it. It's not the end of the story, though. Rook G3, Queen B1. Not the end of the story yet. <clears throat> here maybe I'm threatening rook g7 push rate 6 Actually, rook g8, and what am I doing? Messing around here. Rook g8. Hmm. I wonder, rook g8, if I take. In any case. Oof. Check. Check. Now if knight g5 king takes there's knight e6 so i'm going to push that for yeah. that knight e6 will win the queen knight <clears throat> e6 Queen h6. There isn't queen h7, but there's king g8 simply protecting the rook. So I need more firepower. I'm just going to put this back, threatening queen h6. I have nabbed a pawn. Maybe king f1 soon, just to get out of the um, queen c3 business. Does the queen want to come to c4? 
King G1. We have an interesting position emerging. Knight G5. If Queen C4, Knight G5. Because if King G7, H6. If takes, what can I do? Put this here to try and. He's doing something about this B file, right? No? I'll put the queen here. And King G2. Oh. <clears throat> Knight e3 coming up, is there? I think I just take it. Rook g3, king f2. How do you put pressure here? I hope he hasn't got pressure. And she's giving me queen c2 to think about. Or knight g5 now. Check. If queen h6, there's knight f7. Can I play h6? This is a sort of statement that I'm depriving this h6 square because of knight f7. Um, is there any other comment that move is making there? My rook's not doing a thing over here. Oh man. No, no, no. I could be in big trouble. I am in big trouble. That that was dumb. That was mega dumb. Ah, oh, that was mega dumb. What have I done? Well, no moves. Simple move. Um, knight f3, rook g3, king h2, rook e2. Here's one g4. I'm just getting mated, I think. This is really unfortunate. Is it He's going to take the knight, not the queen, isn't it? Uh, this is really unfortunate. I was hoping to keep the knight there, but he's going to just take the knight. This is very desperate indeed. He's just going to take the knight. I think to be sadistic. He just takes the knight. Okay, okay. I haven't even got rook f1. Very funny. We're not even king here. <laughs> it's, just, it's just so horrible. Check. It's just so horrible what's happened. This is just so horrible. What was I doing? It's like I fell asleep there. I just fell asleep there. I don't think I've got any counterplay chances in particular. I haven't got any counterplay here. And this check. That's about it. And it doesn't do anything. Check. <laughs> check. Stuck. Check. 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 
<laughs> no, no, I'm dead. I'm dead meat. I'm dead meat. I think I know it. Oh, man. Well played. Okay, chest 64. Oh, I fell asleep there. I don't know. I thought I was just winning over there. <clears throat> so, King's Gambit. Is here. Is it worth just taking this? I think I'll just take this. Just drop the bishop back after d5. Park Castle, good sign. Oh, they can castle technically there actually. Um, probably has the castle, Queenside. Although, hell, Queen C free check. castles which is legal by the way but uh, Queen C free check is probably dangerous so I believe all in all this is dangerous for black mm. <clears throat> Okay, a rook on the seventh should be worth something, even if the queens come off. Um. Okay, it's pawns versus the bishop. <clears throat> Another pawn. Might as well grab another pawn while I can. Mm -hmm. Give the king c2 or d2 c2. If I get these pawns going, they should be okay. If I get them going. Do I get mated with bishop h6? There's d7. Right. 
Und <clears throat> is there Rook F2? Do I taunt Rook F2? Let's check King D3. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, okay, no, okay, I'm gonna lose that pawn. Try and get this one. There'll still be three pawns over here if it gets the D2 after. It is a bit of a pain. Check. Uh, Check. Try and get this one going. Or this one. I think it's going to be tricky to defend this as black because these pawns um, seem reasonable. Oh, this clock stopped. Let's check if I'm still connected. Oh. Let's defend that for a moment. A mistake, but he only had like ten seconds to think about it. Check. 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 Okay. Thanks. Um, Dugos. Let's play Dugos next. Okay. <clears throat> a bit deafer than usual at the moment. <laughs> uh, I've been taking no text. It's, it's trying. To, I'm trying to clear it up. It's, it's the winter. It's getting quite cold here in the UK. Quite often happens in the winter to me. Um, so anyway, uh, back to the game position. So this, I kind of like this position because the dark squares are usually okay. Dark squares, I think, will be more than okay if I have this bishop without a counterpart. And um, yeah, okay. So what's going on here? Yes, bishop without the counterpart. Maybe I need to tuck it in bed over here. A six, bishop a seven. Or I'm worried about d6 though as well. Alright, I'll just play this. Maybe King F8 on the check. I should have <laughs> perhaps I should have just castled there. That's that seems a bit eccentric. Actually, that's a bit eccentric. Check. This is a bit odd though, casting queenside usually. I think I should be okay with a6 and b5. I think there's okay. There's knight f4 as well to think about. Bishop d7 and b4. Knight f4 hits g2 on g3. You know maybe knight h3 hits f3. Knight f4 is pretty 
nifty usually <clears throat> g3 knight h3 Okay, uh, hmm. over here then. Just trying to open up the queen on b2, maybe. Look, e5 is something to be concerned about. Uh, queen's on b2, a4, a3. Yes. That's a good point. <laughs> Tanks with the rook, queen e7, and tanks with the queen. Check. Wouldn't mind, don't mind so much. Knight h4, king f7. I don't fear this intuitively that much. Knight g6, rookie a. Okay, there might be. Oh, not rookie 5. There might be just carrying on. Queen. Oh, there's check. Yeah, there's no counterpart on the dark square. Check. It's fatal, isn't it? It's just weakening. Okay, so it's got the knight on it. It's not entirely fatal. <clears throat> Rook B8 and B3 is um, interesting, but and the exchange up should I be worried? It is for a pawn. It is for a pawn. I'm trying to open up some lines. Hmm. He's got knight c6 coming. And play like this. Rookie five, there's always g4, right? It might not be so funny. Let's check this g4. No? I get them. <clears throat> so rook h2 I mean the rooks should be okay just about here the rook should be okay I go for h5 h4 H3, this is a loose piece. Still a loose piece. Okay, thanks for the game, Douglas. Unexpected. Tells an unexpected. <clears throat> Just go with this line. It's fairly straightforward, I find, to exchange and go for this line. It blitz. Generally. It's attacking, because I don't think anyone expects Castling Queenside from an exchange French. Apparently Kasparov once used it and some told. That's how I picked up the line. Um, we go here. Oh, it's been a bit. 
He's not worrying a bit, is he? About anything. And he's actually extinguished my attacking bishop. Do I get anything here? I'm not at all sure I get anything here in terms of an advantage on this. Can I have the cheek to play knight c7 while well, the rooks are not connected? Knight c7 coming up. I think it just goes self pin, except if you went there, it doesn't matter about the pin. Um, does that? Family fork. <clears throat> Take the rug. Mm. Get the rooks off. Check. It's not out night before. I don't want to face night before. Deprive the night a bit. Maybe G3 and Queen D3. Knight d4, queen d3. Okay, can I play queen here? It's centralizing the queen a bit. Mm, this could be tricky. Uh, queen e3 for queen e8, but again, you know, king h7. Do I need to use this h pawn? h4, h5 for rookie 8. I wonder. It might be necessary. Okay, this knight's going to be a trouble a maker, isn't it? I play h5 the check check all right there's a check and takes there's queen d3 that's gonna be trouble queen d3 is gonna be trouble what I can do check. is get the Queens off like a check-in get the Queens off before check. I get mated with Queen and Knight <laughs> but I've given them a pawn to do that little trick B4, rook, B4. Just concern about this pawn I've given him. Maybe too fratter. What about rook, B4? In fact, you know, rook, A4 was possible. Why do I want to go for that pawn? Go for this one, then come back. Check. Is rook g5 on knight g3? Little trap. Check. Okay, thanks for the game, unexpected. Sirt Posse. <coughs> What's your profile? 2300 is a good rating. Five minute twenty one hundred. Are you ready? The five minute auto pairing ratings are usually less in case you're wondering on stream. And two hundred point gap is typical. Five minute auto pairing is a killer basically. But anyway, is he ready? Is he ready? Are we going on to another challenge? 
<clears throat> I think we're going on to another challenge, guys. I'm going to bought this. Libyan's Pawn. Let's try this. got a plan to play like this <laughs> bishop outside the pawn chain e6 and d5 later i mean it's called the wade defense after robert wade uh, who i have played once i think in five minute chess at the checkers cafe in london he was really good <clears throat> really good player uh, do i want to play d5 um I think it's called the wave variation you know i might be getting that wrong but anyway whatever it is it's an interesting idea because it's trying to get the bishop outside the pawn chain and then get the french defense pawn structure but it's not such a big deal really uh white's pretty solid here uh probably some sort of minority attack is to be aimed for okay i don't mind that because it's kind of it feels solid at the moment i'm wondering if i can play for a minority attack on the queen side b5 maybe even knight a5 to c4 just to try and that will be an aggressive pawn on c4 okay i'm not too worried at the moment maybe i should be but I'm not too worried is he gonna do this all right, let's go in here. On doubles. And still feels solid <clears throat> to me. There's still A5, B4 trying to inflict some structural damage. A5, Queen, B6, B4 just trying to inflict some structural damage. Am I worried? I don't know about that. Um, I think I'm just going to put it on E4. Maybe even here, just to get the D5 square for the Queen, actually. I guess the pawn can be potentially surrounded with F5 and Rook F4. Unless I play F5 here, then that stops this naughty Rook F4 idea. And it's tracks. Can I play like this to defend my king? Rook c7, g7, just to build Fort Knox around here. I want to do this Fort Knox and then b4 on this side. Try and weaken this structure over here. Got to be careful about the use of the a file though. It's not really achieving anything at the moment. The A file, Check. yes. The A file is going to be dangerous. I'm not weakening anything. Ah, uh, not weakening. Um, and take the A file. Let's take this A file. I think it could be handy. Queen A two. Mm, or B3. Well, in fact, the immediate B takes is on, surely. Infiltration mm -hmm. here, possible. Queen coming. What if I played B3? Is it too closed? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, let's do B3. 
pretty close position. Actually, I'm not sure how this is uh, going to pan out at this point. It doesn't look too clever in many respects. Okay. Check. Check. I can avoid a perpetual. I don't have to lose my rook, which I think is a bit of good news. I don't have to go on to this for a check. Hair to hair. Well, he's got Rook B4 after that, hasn't he? It's not going to do anything, is it? <laughs> this is clever. Force him to try and play for a win. I'll try and get my king in there. I've got this pawn here. It's a queen. Mind over matter. This pawn could be more important than the extra pawns. Since I'm getting mated. Uh, God, I'm getting close to getting mated. Check. Oh, I'm going in there. Friendly mate. Oh, there was mate there. I just missed it, didn't I? There was a checkmate there. Okay, yeah, my king <laughs> compensated, compensated a little bit. Benny wins. Uh, hi, Benny Wins. That was pushing, called pushing for a loss. <laughs> I was pushing for a loss. I wasn't entirely, yeah. <laughs> I was just... The king is a useful piece, though, in the end games. Hmm. I can try and castle queenside. Maybe even. Oh, I think. Yeah. I'm not worried about the check. This, if the, the fragmented pawns that I'm looking at, which make the king's gamut worth playing a check. lot of the time. Okay, my king is inconvenienced. But I'm looking at the fragmented pawns here. Mm -hmm. Especially F seven for the check. Check. I think I'll take this opportunity. Check. For rook H four. So that gives me rook f4. That wins the queen. Check. A 
save for Rook F1. Get my king out of danger. Um. Right, queen F7. If Rook E7 has Queen F8. This rook is imprisoned. Hmm. One sometimes gets, uh, you know, interesting advantages from the king going. Max happy. Have we just checked when I played? I'm losing track now. Max happy. We have not played yet. Hello, Max happy. Let's try a French defense with uh, knight c6. What's happening here? Check. Queen here is not a four actually. Better go back. looking dangerous have I got knight e5 potentially knight e5 not knight d4 because he's always got bishop g6 my king is not castled there's knight e5 here thankfully I can get rid of this dangerous bishop. And e5. And d4. Maybe I'll kick this guy. Mm. Still cannot castle. Okay, what about b6 for a moment? This is looking crazy, but b6. I need to be able to play bishop d7 in castle, I think. What about a5 and bishop a6? This might be more logical to put the bishop here with tempo. Then castle, queen side, which is stopped. I can play e5 on queen e3. This. Actually, it's not pinned or anything. Maybe b5 then. There's knight c5 again. Okay. This is, maybe it wasn't clever. <clears throat> Bishop c4 here protects d5 for a moment. And I want to play maybe b5 after that. Check. D takes b5. Try and undermine the center here, get the queens off. I take on c3 oh, I don't think that helps <laughs> blockade for a moment with rookie 8 
D fours threatens. <clears throat> You know what? Knight e4, there's bishop d5. Okay, maybe, maybe I go with this. Maybe. He's always got knight f6 as well. If I take knight f6, still do that. F6, check. Bishop e6, knight f6, bishop f6. There's always bishop f7. And if taking knight, yeah, let's try this. So I'll take there's always rook f6. If knight e6, rook e6, knight f6, I'll play rook f6. Alright, now if knight f6, okay, so if knight f6, rook f6. check yeah. so it doesn't work there's a he's got rookie six here <laughs> that was done hang on <laughs> there's a diabolical trap here isn't there knight g4 thankfully i've just spoiled that <laughs> no that was not calculation <laughs> that was accident there's knight g4. C6. It's not a legal. It's a legal move. Stops. Okay. Five. Oh god, what am I doing? Again, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm falling asleep, man. Sorry, sorry. I, d I don't know what I've done. I don't know what I've just done. That's just crazy. That's just madness. Oh, man. It's just madness what I've just done. I've just blundered a piece. Yes, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not with it. I'm not with it. Oh, dear. get this pawn well, there might be still a chance to save this game if I can try and wake up <laughs> uh, and be resourceful um, Falling to bits. Yeah, I'm not Check. with it. Oh, that's terrible. Terrible. <laughs> uh, uh, what, have I, what have I been doing? <laughs> what have I been doing? I haven't been doing anything uh, too uh, much, uh, but I don't know. 
Um. Check. 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 Mm. It's Check. relentless. It's over, really. Check. Mm. Yeah. Check. That's it. I don't think there's going to be a stalemate somehow. Time warning. <laughs> I'm, I'm not with it. I'm just not with it. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I don't know. I don't know what's happened there. I, I collapsed. After the initial escape. Let's play auto pairing game just for glutton for punishment. <laughs> uh, okay, George. Similar thing last week. I <laughs> play for H5 9G4. He's not careful. <laughs> Can I play like this? So I'm wondering if H4 G4 is going to be dangerous. Uh, H4 G4. H4 and G4. He might play H3. And there's Knight H2, locking down on the light squares. There's Knight's a bit fragile. This F file to play with, Bishop C5. Um. Knight C5 is not doing anything. This knight's just bad at the moment. Bad news. Can I put some pressure? Yeah. Check. I got B4 locked down. Uh, well, this knight is a bit of a problem. Taken out of the firing line. Six. Try and get rid of this guy. I can play B4, can't he? I suppose I have to be worried about that. B4. 
four. That's oh, bishop d four now. I'll play g four. Is it bishop f two and g three? Potentially. I might want to treble first, but it's looking better than it was before. If I can treble first, or yeah, Bishop G3, it's got everything covering F1 at the moment. At the moment, it's A4 here, just to try and get the bishop away from F1 for Bishop G3 to be more effective. Hmm. Check. Hmm. It's queen on the diagonal. That's worth anything. And blockade. Rookie seven. That's holding C seven at the moment. Hitting E four. There's Bishop E six. There's B five. Um, Hmm. There's F3 here. Queen takes. Doesn't do anything. It's Queen B2 as well. That's an interesting to look at. Queen B2. I wonder if that gives me Bishop A6 before I take. For F3. I mean, you can ignore it, of course. <laughs> Check. He puts the king in the corner, whatever that was worth. Okay, uh, now I'm getting attacked. Try B5, B5 to lock down. If I can support B5, there we have Rook A6, Great Two Lane. This guy come in. He'll do this, won't he? It's well worth it. Ouch. I don't think I'm going to make this. No. <laughs> no. That was well played. Oh. Ah. Did, did we play Benny Wins? Oh, yeah. Getting battered tonight. Bad. Benny Wins. We played. We played. <laughs> it's getting a bit hot in here. <laughs> I think. Uh. Right. Time to get serious. 
Okay, another, another auto pairing. Mm, yes, another auto pairing. George has got his revenge. That was very passive. <clears throat> okay, uh, try for another auto pairing. webcam not in ideal position by the way I oh, know it, it was just when I was moving <clears throat> five minutes or okay super rod Okay, um, doesn't want a castle in a hurry, does he? I'll try and ask him to strengthen my center. Yeah, this is he's not going to castle. It's going to tease me with this um, position a little bit. Um, G four as well. Oh, okay. Is he going to take her? Knight here to here looks interesting. So, okay, the center would collapse. Queen H5. Check. I don't think it's worth it. Um, Knight G4 looks pretty tasty. Even here. Okay, rook g6, queen d3. No, rook g6, knight e5, come on. Okay, let's give me an exchange. Well, that might not be a big deal. So rook f1, looking at g6. So rook f1. Try and get these guys off. Check. Free up the queen for queen f3 without dropping d4. Mm. Actually, g4 gives me knight g3 to h5, but I need to sort of. Yeah, be concerned about other things. Let's get this king out of there. He plays bishop e4, queen g3. Gives me queen e5. Uh, or not. <laughs> mm. I was, 
I'm about to be mated by Queen F7. <laughs> Check. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> okay, no, Queen E8, Rook F7 seems good. Uh, so Queen E8, King G7, Rook F7 seems good. Check. Just about in time for being mated. Check. Take off this bishop, or I can just play queen g8. Checkmate. Whoa, a bit lucky there. <laughs> okay, uh, let's continue for a moment on the auto pairing. Two key. Another Smith Mora. <clears throat> Only a Moroxy bind. Get the king off this sensitive diagonal. And um, I think I'll hold C4 a bit more before um, operating over here. He might take the bishop, but I'll, if he doesn't, I think I might just drop this back. Okay. Uh, now this d6 is also of interest. If I can force e5 to weaken d5. Mm, there's that. c5 takes e5 would seem to be winning a piece, but no, actually it doesn't. Because <laughs> of knight d5. Uh, he's got knight d5, knight takes, queen takes. Uh, it might still be interesting to play this. So takes e5, knight d5, knight d5, queen takes after. Um, <clears throat> All right, we have this line. So knight d5, <clears throat> going to take. <coughs> Pardon me. All right. Uh, I can hit the queen for knight f4. I think I'll do that. I think I want to hit the queen. And then play knight f4 or take on c5 if possible. That's not happening. F4, F5 might be dangerous for F6. Anything over here? G6, like G3 maybe for F5. Okay, what's a pawn or two? I want to play F5. Six takes knight f five after would be dangerous, I hope. So f five f six coming up, queen b three f five and f six looks dangerous. G six f five looks fine. Okay, well I could be being optimistic here, obviously. Um, I'll keep the rook on. Uh, it's bishop d5. Let's go for it. Does he take care first? Try and weaken my back row, I guess. But if I take an f6. I keep this rook on as bishop d5. Hmm. That's Queen G four there. Oh, he's on G two. That's that's the painful bit. He's on G two. 
Okay, so F5. Not immediately. Oh, God. <laughs> no, this bishop d5 is, is dangerous. gone into here yeah. okay bishop d5 queen g4 this is not what I anticipated ah that's unintended counterattack <laughs> I thought I was getting my way here not the case f6 threatens potentially but it seems there's a counterattack here. Um, just checking. E6 and FG. E6 takes FG. As long as his queen's not coming in for it. It's getting a bit scary, all this, what he's doing. There's Bishop D6 after. Can I kick this queen out with Rook F4? Before giving him Bishop D6. Rook F4. Oh, God, and Bennett. <laughs> oh. All right, FG's threatened, finally. FG. I'm like, okay, I know he's got these pawns, but okay. E6, F6. E6 is also dangerous for F6. Is it? Maybe. Now surely this gives me a little bit of something to play with. If I unpin. Looking at the rook as well. Okay, so I can take that. Takes knight f5 for knight e7 mating. Rookie one, it's ninety seven. Queenie one, ninety seven. Check. Yeah. Oh, exciting one. Um, okay, no, there's no immediate challenge. So let's carry on, just carry on quickly on the auto pairing for a bit. Sky, maybe even castle. 
Maybe, maybe like this. Oh. I think H3 I might take that. <clears throat> Let's stop A5 trapping the bishop. Okay, double pawns. And we can D4 a bit. Seems to weaken my own position more. Probably not clever. Well, tempted. <laughs> I'm just looking at knight d4. If I can get knight d4 in, if the knight moves, I'd be very happy. Knight h5 to f4 looks. I think d4 c rook c3. There's this queen. Play knight f4 rook c3. F4. Looks dangerous. G4. If I play knight G3, queen G4. If I play F5, just feel to swing the rook to G5. So I want to play knight F4 next. Play king H1. Here. I'll rule out Queen G4. We had gone Rook, I mean Rook F5 goes Rook G5. Okay, I don't know what the defense is here. I think King H1 might be needed. Okay, thanks. Oh, he says gracias, thanks. All right, let's continue swiftly on the five minute water pairing. Yeah, it's always a bit dangerous in Blitz, this piece hack. <clears throat> Um, okay. Glenn Quagmire, okay, uh, on the challenge. He's pretty good on the auto pairing. I think he's higher rated. Glenn, I, I'm, I'm sure I've lost him on the five minute auto pairing once in the past. Yes, it's on the channel. I'm pretty sure I've played him before. <laughs> Character from Family Guy. Is he, is he ready? <laughs> um, why is my head cut off on the stream? What have I done with the webcam? Oh, blimey. Sorry about this. Oh, it hasn't been great for the webcam, has it? Oh, okay. Um, I 
Okay, it's I thought he challenged me just then. I thought he challenged me. Alright, let's support this. Go on the auto pairing again. A WGM Huber. And this is okay, let's 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 knight c6 French. Try the knight c6 French. Trying to carve that into a weapon here. Surprise weapon. Supposed to take how something. What's it taking there? What have you got taken there? Okay, I'm just trying to remember. <laughs> oh God, I'm just trying to remember this. <clears throat> Is about to be annihilated. Maybe it's taking here. Yeah. For taking it, can be so. Check. And hold default, maybe C6. What should I take? Uh, C6 or take Wondering, do I get a chance for b6 and bishop e6? Um, or not? Uh, this doesn't look like a solid idea. This looks all a bit scary. I put the king away from here for a moment. Yeah, Bishop d7 might be good enough for a bit more solidity. Bishop d7. Okay, she's going to play, I guess. E6. <sighs> okay, E6 is going to happen, isn't it? Or oh, something horrible. Okay. Um. Is that Rook F4? With my king in the center, I don't like this particularly. 
What, why don't I play bishop e6 to stop this e6? Bishop e6. For a moment. King d7, rook f4. King f7. <laughs> this doesn't look appetizing. All right, I don't want to lose a7 particularly. I wonder if I can play this no oh, it looks as though this is horrible <laughs> ah this is horrible can I okay can I do this just trying to as I'm gonna hit e5 uh, which is not really uh, <clears throat> not really happening uh, the problem with a6 is knight b3 to c5 if I play a6, might be free. B, I can't play b6. All right, try it like this. Well, there's knight f5. <laughs> this is this is not good, is it? Ah, uh, um. take this if I don't take it the knight's coming okay might be more solid not to take it these pawns are too much I'm just trying to activate the queen Queen here, oh, that's killer. Oh, oh hang on, Queen that the 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 Queen's hang Brooks hanging. <clears throat> Check. Check. Queen six and f six, huh? Well, there'll be perpetual. I mean, it's just perpetual time anyway. I'm not trying for a win. I think it's just perpetual. I don't think it's time for mating me. <laughs> Famous last words. I've only got a perpetual. Check. Check. Uh, offer a draw. I don't think the king can run. <laughs> Maybe the king can run. Check. Oh boy. Check. 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 Draw. Check. Check. Time warning. Check. 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 
Check. Check. Check. Checkmate. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was pushing too hard for a win. Come on. I'm two rooks up here. Just take the draw. Take the draw for God's sake. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Jerome. Oh, I've got a bad record against Jerome. Okay, I'll try B3. <laughs> Thing. Anything? I don't think I was. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I don't know where that king was going. <laughs> uh, <sighs> and that previous game. Hold the fort here. Try and keep control of these dark squares if possible. Very good. I need to keep control of these dark squares if possible. Um, I'm hoping this light square bishop is going to be a bit hemmed in for a bit. Um, This wants to exchange off all the rooks. Hmm. All right. Check. I got this move. Try and tease some more dark square weaknesses. All right. Uh, over here, it's Queen A one. You can't challenge that immediately. There's ninety six, right? If he moves there, if I get Queen A one in, there's an infiltration on A five. This bishop, as long as that's locked in, I'm happy for a moment. Queen A1 to A5 is, I think, a plan. Oh. I'll go for this and play H3 if that is a problem. Queen A7, just pinning for a moment. 
Uh, Queen C5 after. I think I've got the upper hand anyway. Here, I've got the upper hand, surely. If he's going to play Queen C7 or Queen D6 H3. Um, All right, I'll try and win a pawn. Well, I like my dark square play. Can the bishop on d4? Or not bother. Be nice to play C three, I think. smacks of desperation of some sort. What's the point of that? Alright, to get bishop e4 in. Alright, to put me on the defensive. Okay, that's a good point. Can I play g4 here? For h5 then later? getting in trouble g5 queen e6 am i the one getting in trouble he has to parry all right everything's on a dark square i'll try playing for my king to come in I think B5, D5. I'm on G7 here, tying the king. There's no, there's G6. Check. <sighs> okay, ends on a high note. <laughs> um, okay, uh, maybe just one final I don't know actually I don't know it's uh, let me see what's happening I'll just ask my co-producer uh, just one moment um, uh, we'll make it a three minute game on the auto pairing it's uh, kind of to our mark um isn't it <laughs> uh okay uh maybe our closing speech uh for the last minute um uh okay just quickly i just want to say thank you for coming hope you enjoyed the games uh <laughs> and there were some fun games in there <laughs> uh i hope you find and uh, have a good week yeah have a nice world championship match as well i hope you're watching it on acc so uh yeah comments questions likes appreciate it thanks very much thanks very much